sir, on the radar from the crib, man. Yo, I'm joined by ATL's own. Jerm, what's up, bro? What going on, man? Yo, what you yes, playing sir. right now? I'm actually going to get off some Call of Duty right now, a little Warzone and shit. Yo, but wasn't really there like Skater a... I've been playing though. I've been playing Skater XL for sure. Now, what, did, didn't they just redrop the, like, the Tony Hawk remastered some... Yeah, it was Tony think... Hawk Pro Skater, right? Yeah, they dropped, like, I think they, they dropped some bundle, like, Tony Hawk 1 and 2, and then there's about to be a new one. I don't know if the new one came out yet, but, like, it's, like, the most updated one and shit. Now, this is exciting for me because you were, your your you, your roots are in skating. You were a big skateboarder, still are a big skateboarder. So I just left the skate park, skate park across the street from my house. Oh, that's dope. So you still be skateboarding, you still be outside and doing all that. Yeah, because, like, rap life is just rapping, studio, and then. You're at the crib, plotting on more rap shit. I gotta get my mind off this shit sometimes. And I think people like really don't talk enough about how big skating culture is in, in hip hop. And I feel like that you kind of personify that really well. Like you, you nigga, be sk- stealing all our swag. <laughs> you got Travis Scott mall grabbing in his fucking in his um his shoe commercial and shit. Like, bro, never rode a skateboard in his life. Like, it's cool, but. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Fuck hey, bro, me. you know, we all we all want the dope SBs. I remember trying to get the um the Diamond Supply Co. SBs back in the day. And I remember them shits were I, – I still don't have them, by the way. But I remember them shits was crazy because I was like, I was like, damn, how you – because I owned mad SBs when I was in, in high school and shit. I was like, damn, yeah. how come I can't even cop, like, a new pair of SBs when I own all the rest of them? It's, I'm the, I was the type of nigga, like, even back then, I was, like, skating all my SBs because like, everybody was like – Cause there's a couple kids that like wear SBs just on some cool shit. I'm like, bro, them skate shoes, like for real. And I remember I had them vanilla ice blazers, and I pulled up and all the sneakerhead kids in high school was like, Ugh, "You like these five hundred? I'm like, nope. Before I go to the skate park, boy. Hey, I, I can already ass. tell you, someone when you buy kicks, you wear them. You don't, you don't do none of that shit. Even if they expensive kicks nah. on the resale, you I got some. Fi- I got like five shit, like I'll wear and shit, but like I'm, I'm not really into like the whole. I don't have the shoes, but I don't really – it's you know, not, like, collectible for me. I just need some drip, you feel me? Facts, facts. So how do you feel like, you know, since we're talking about skating, how do you feel like you kind of blend, like, skate culture and hip-hop? Because, you know, you were talking about how, like, people like Trav, they don't really skate, but they have SBs. Um, how do you feel, like, as a skater, how do you how do you kind of, like, blend, you know, your, your music and, like, the skate culture, like, all at one time? Um, uh, really, it's just, like – it's like no effort really. It's like that's what I that's what I do before the rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm just living my regular life, just rapping and shit. Like if I didn't rap, I'd probably still be skating and just like, you know, doing whatever the fuck I gotta do to get some money. But I'm always gonna skate. It's just real easy. Like skating and rapping just go hand in hand. Like I'm my own boss in both fields. Feel me? I pick what I wanna do or not wanna do it. It's really why the fuck with skateboarding is so tough. And just like skateboarding just running culture, you feel me? Like Everybody looked like a skater, tight Amiri pants and shit. Like 2010, 09, like right. niggas was getting picked on for wearing tight pants and like skating and shit. So now it's like cool. So it's like Supreme's a fucking skate brand. Like a lot of the shit people wear are all skate brands. I know we keep going on these skate tangents, but I saw Supreme is like Supreme. Someone said, I think it was Wayno. Somebody tweeted, somebody's like, yo, Supreme be having everything but clothes in their drops nowadays, which I thought was really funny. Cause like they have like a, they have like an arcade machine. They got like a Chucky doll in their, in their fall drop. And I'm like, yo, I just, I'm here for the clothes. I don't know what everybody else here for, but I'm here for like right. the dope jackets and, and, and the shirts and shit. Facts. Facts. So I know, uh, skating i mean hip-hop wasn't always like your like you you never thought that like rap would kind of like be your career at one point correct no fuck no <laughs> so I, it's, it's funny because in high school i had this like girl mess with like whatever and then her her like ex-boyfriend was a rap nigga in like high school like been rapping and i just remember like bro being lame as hell like i'm like you're gonna fuck with the skater, like the shitty skater nigga. You like the good boy rapper, dude. And I'll always be like, man, fuck that rap nigga, like, man, rapping weak, like, I don't know. And then a couple years later, I'm whole ass rapper and shit, like, just funny, really. So, how do you feel like, I don't know, do, do you feel comfortable as, because like you said, you like to skate and you would still be a skater if you weren't rapping, but do you feel comfortable in this lane? Like, because you've owned it pretty well, man. Like, you got some good tapes, you got some great collabs, some great friends in the industry that you've worked with. Do you feel comfortable 
uh, in this rap lane right now? Yeah. Hell yeah. I just want to get like more into it. Just like, it's like people take me more seriously. Like, just like, oh, like he real like rapping nigga. Like, I, I, I like full on rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can forget the skate shit. Like, always gonna be in me, but just need to know you can't fuck with me on this on this rap shit. Like, hey, bro, not everybody really, got horses I'm, in their videos I'm, I'm like you. <laughs> hey, hey, had to bring them boys out. No, nah, that shit was fire. Oh, and the horses. The niggas is majestic. And I really love the hijinks tape because, like, it, it's cool because you're spitting, spitting, but also you're you're doing a little bit of melodic stuff, but also there's like a little punk aspects in in there within the music so do you like yeah. have any one particular like do you are, are you someone who like is like right, i'm a rapper and that's it or do you kind of like feel like your genres kind of blur through the lines like you you know you'll identify as like you know someone who's like punk rap or, my, shit, or... my shit's for sure blurred because like i i can make like melodic shit make like suicide boys like da 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 just like some like cool like shake well smooth shit like i've made everything really so, so I don't really think like and then just this tape I didn't want to do like a whole bunch of like like cliche like oh this is what G5 now sounds like you know what I'm saying like I feel like that would have been extra for me to like reach out and do that I was just doing shit that was like more comfortable for me you know right right and just I, and need I, people to just go ahead and set me for me you know what I'm saying I don't do what the fuck I want for sure and I definitely see that with these videos too for Cookie and, and 700 because like they're just so like they're just so crazy bro <laughs> like like were you, did you come up with the visions for these or or did you have somebody help you or was this all kind of like your vision um, for the videos the, for these projects the cookie video was kind of random because uh, i had like a video guy like we we're trying to shoot we're work we was going to shoot video but then my homie was just like yo we should do a car meet and i'm like mm, that'd be hard i was like where are we gonna do it where are we gonna have all these kids pull up right my homie's like Malibu or like PCH or some shit. Mm. So I just tweeted it. I tweeted it and posted it on my Instagram. And then like some mad kids hit me up and like meet me there at three o'clock. Get there. It's like, I don't know, like two, three hundred kids. And like, I don't know, kids. I, for some reason in my head, I'm thinking like, my fans are not going to have like whips and shit. You nigga putting up RX7s, right side drive and shit. Like mm. big benzes, all type of shit. I'm like, okay. And then we just, I was like, fuck it. We're just shooting it right, right here. And then my homie, Zach, from FTP, he just handed out some shoes and shit. So, like, kids were hyped. They got to be in a video. They got some free shoes before they released. So, just, like, a whole, like, experience, you know? That's kind of fire that you, like, in incorporated your fans into that and then still gave back to them at the end of the day with the sneakers and, and shit. Yeah. They were, they were juice. They were tweaking. The kids were, like, because their <laughs> shoes were, like, super anticipated and shit. Yeah. So, it's like, the homie was, like, shit, if you're going to do it, I'll, I'll give out, like, 100 pairs. So, like, combine that with my shit, his shit, and then we did that. So, like, shout out to Zach, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's my brother right there. I think it's dope how, uh, like, I feel like the era of, of hip-hop and rap that you're a part of, you know, along with the Suicide Boys, along with, like, Fat Nick and, and all them, you guys have, like, a really close connection to your fans. Like, y'all really, like, like, y'all do a really good job of interacting with them. And even, you know, like I said, with, with, with this video, you did, a, like, a fire job of, like, you know, giving sneakers back. Uh, just having them be part of the video and part of like you know your journey and your experience. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that shit's hard. It's just it just seems so easy because like when we like when I first started like going on tour with Puya and them, it weren't like huge shows. So like you do like three five hundred people shows and then like a meet and greet. And I wasn't really on some like shit where I was like I can't talk to kids. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I'm like man, what's up? He could, like I'm in the crowd and shit. Like yeah. Five, like, like smoke a blunt with a random ass kid like for no reason you know what i'm saying just shit like that because i wasn't really on no like oh i'm too lit to be out here like i was kind of just like i'm kind of just in it just to travel and like the experiences and shit and you mentioned travel and experiences so what has quarantine been like for you since like now you can't go you know you can't go nowhere can't go on the road none of that shit um quarantine sucks because when i'm at home <laughs> i gotta just stay home but fucking i've been traveling still because i've been uh fighting like a case some legal shit in LA, so I've been going back to LA like every month for court and shit. Okay. I went to I went to Miami a couple months ago, work on some uh project with Ramirez and shit. Nice. So it's just like everything's just been slow. It's just like, I just get a chance to work. It's but like, it's cool it's that you've been able to drop this tape during quarantine too. Yeah, I wanted to drop it like earlier in the year because mm -hmm. like I had like I don't know, it's probably like halfway done, like beginning of the year. Now I like kind of just chilled. 
but it, the plan was to be like the beginning, like way like before all this COVID shit. Then I was like, all right, fuck, we're just gonna record some more. And then just ended up like doing it like that, like all right, it's just a COVID tape, damn near. Like <laughs> you should have just like, called it that. It's not the hygiene well, tape, I the COVID about tape. To, but I'm like, I'm like, nah, I can't even do it. <laughs> no, nah, but like I'm trying to do that. But you've been busy, so I mean, at least you know, at least you're 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 creating and and still hitting the studio. Because even that, even I think before this, you were like, you're like, hey man, it's, it's studio, skate park, and then back to the crib. Yeah, bro, and we got a studio in the crib, so really, I don't even have to leave if I don't want to. It's, it's bed to the right. studio, then back, and then to the skate park. Bed to the studio, and then the skate park, and then I can get on the phone, talk about some bootleg clothes. You know what I'm saying? Just try to get them, just drop it, stay like still making money, you know. Mm-hmm. Got a whole brand, got to run that too. That's dope. That's dope. Talk to me a little bit about this brand, cause I, I don't think I'm that familiar with it. So put me on. Uh, Bootleg USA. Boot. Oh, I like that jersey. Man. That's fire. I fuck with that. Come on, man. Don't play with him. Nah, but I've had it for. In October, it'll be two years since I did, like, mm. my first drop ever. Okay. Um, it was really just, like, making shit I like. I want to eventually turn it into, like, serious, like, standalone brand, you know? Like, that has nothing to do with people. Just, like, people know Bootleg USA. I don't even know I run it. I want it to be like that. So, pretty much just, like, staying consistent with that, staying consistent with the music, just, like, source of income, you know? And then I just get to wear my own shit. Like, if I make hard shit, like, I'm fun to wear it. And then everybody's like, damn, who made that? And you're like, I made it. And I'm like, damn, send me the link. And then a nigga buy me, you see it outside. It's like, I don't know, a real fulfilling feeling. You're like, oh, I bet. Like, mm-hmm. Niggas rocking my shit. That's dope. I definitely got to check out the bootleg uh, bootleg clothing website after this. Um, man. Yeah, not for sure. Bootleg USA, tap in. Instagram, too. Yo, so also something I've been doing with every artist that I talk to during quarantine, you know, uh, like, and this works perfectly with you because you have such a strong fan base. Um I've been asking people, artists, to send a message to their fans, to people watching this at home, to anyone who might be struggling during these times, whether it be a, they're, a cre- they're a creative, they're an artist, they're a rapper, they're just your everyday person at home. What would be your, I guess, message to, uh, to the people at home watching right now? Uh, you got to stay down till you come up. This is just like a little break, you know what I'm saying? Just take this time to work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Really figure out what you want to do and then dive in because you got nothing but time. I have nothing but time to take you two months to learn something, five months to be five, and then a year to be successful. Really, if you like, if you really break it down, like you learn something in two, three months, you're like damn near good enough at six to like start like charging for something, you know what I'm saying, a service or whatever the fuck you're doing. And then by the time you're like a year, year and a half in, you're damn near pro. And then we done been in the crib for already eight months, you feel me? So, like. You just take your time. You got nothing but time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were just talking about that shit last night. My uh, my roommate, Lenore. We were just like, bro, it's like even playing field right now. The fucking, like, you got to watch. Like, if on some rate with no COVID, like, you'd be, like, competing with, like, Young Thug and shit, like, blah, blah, blah. But we, <laughs> they can't go out either. We all dropping music from the crib. Like, you know what I'm saying? You should work on yourself. Your music going to be just as good. And then yeah. by the time everybody can pop out, you popping out on like some five music, blah blah, you pop your shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, we were just talking about that last night. And and oh, yo, and I think that you you just gave out a ton of free jewelry right here to anybody who's who's watching, because that's you gave people the keys. It's 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 literally that easy. You know, work on something, work on your own craft, and and then create um, and and then like create something. Then you know you could probably make some bread off of it in a few months, especially if we're still inside. Yeah, like, it's easy. Ain't no, ain't no reason for a nigga to be out here broke. Exactly, exactly. Hey, man. Well, I want to thank you so much for for taking the time out of your day to talk to me. Um, yes, uh, I'm gonna let you get to your call of duty. Um, but before I let you go, let the people know, like, what else that they gotta know that's out. I mean, we know the high drinks tape is out. Uh, is there anything else that you got coming up this year that you want to promote that you got dropping? Now is the time to do that. We got Hygiene's tape out. Hygiene's tape out now. All right, we got the Hygiene's tape been out for what two weeks now. Mm-hmm. We got um, me and Shaco got Kevin money bags getting worked on. Fucking me and Ramirez tape only got a name for that bitch, but we like six songs deep, hard as fuck. Dope. That should be out at the end of the year. And then I want to do another um uh another project for like a solo project for me before the end of the year too. 
So like probably two projects in the top of the year, dirty nasty, dirtier nastier with the boys and shit. So it's a lot of shit coming. Nice. You feed you feed in the fans. You feed in the fans. For sure. I have to. Ain't thinning. Got I'm saying niggas is hungry. Yes. Sir. So they've been waiting for me. Of course, of course. I mean, it's, uh, the, everybody sitting in the crib, they're just waiting for new music because they probably already yeah. they probably already listened to the hijinks tape a thousand times by now. A thousand times, bro. A thousand <laughs> times. So I got to goddamn do it to them. Hey, ain't nobody ever told you look like Drake and Nav combined? Bro, I get that all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was like, damn, I got to tell, bro. Nah, I told, nah bro, I, I literally get that all the time. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I'm the shit opened up. <laughs> you like you you had to like, like did, man, you did a double did take. <laughs> I like nigga send me a verse, nigga. Hey, bro, let let me know. Let me know. I got you, man. My tape dropping Friday. <laughs> hey, you going crazy? <laughs> nah, that's why I be telling everybody when they're like when they're like, oh, you look like Drake, or oh, you look like Nav. I be like, yeah, bro, tape dropping this week. Look out for it. Tape dropping Friday. Tap in. Follow me on Instagram. Man. Yes, sir. That's funny as hell. <laughs> man, I appreciate you for that. That made me laugh. That made my night. Uh, also, let them know where they can follow you at for all the people who don't know you. Instagram, germ, four letters, G-E-R-M. You know what I'm saying? That little blue tech, just germ. Instagram is germ. I mean, Twitter is germ Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And you can find me on everything else, just straight germ, G-E-R-M. Boom, man. There it is. Yo, Germ, thank you again for chopping it up with me today, man. Um, looking forward to, to doing this again when, you know, your next three projects drop, because I know you're going to be working the rest of this yeah, year. Yeah, let's get it. Let's yes, get sir. it. Let's get it. Boom. Germ on the radar.